In this video, we're going to look at treating an embedded object in the body. If it's just something like small grains of dirt or grit, you can just wash it under the tap and that will come out. If it's something that's just stuck to the skin, you can safely remove it. When we're looking at embedded objects, we're dealing with something which is actually in the body like a knife or a lump of glass. The important thing is we do not want to remove it. If there's a piece of glass in the body and then you remove it, what will happen is the glass is basically plugging the hole. So as you pull it out, you'll cut more tissue on the way out and lose more blood. Another example of an embedded object is a knife wound. The knife has cut on its way in and it will cut on the way out. You may do more damage like cutting an artery or a vein. Leaving the knife in the body will continue to plug the hole and reduce blood loss and damage. The knife would then be removed in a hospital. There are many reports within the medical profession of people who die due to stab wounds and the doctors say, if the knife had been left in, I would have had more chance of saving that person. Within first aid, this is what we need to do, leave the item in. With your gloves on, what you'll need to do is take two dressings, apply them either side of the embedded object. Then we use another dressing to carefully bandage that in place. The two dressings either side of the items are used to hold it in place and the third dressing is to support the first two dressings. Once you put the bandage on, check for bleeding to make sure that you've controlled the bleeding and depending on where the injury is, you may be able to elevate the arm in an elevation sling, but it's important to make sure that you don't put the sling over the embedded object which could push it in. This goes for dressings as well. Make sure there's nothing going to happen that actually make the injury worse in the transport to hospital. Embedded objects will need to be removed in a hospital, so we need to get the person to the emergency services as quickly as possible.